What's going on everybody? It's Sean and welcome to your very first Fusion 360 tutorial. Now in this tutorial I'd like to start off by just giving you a brief introduction to Fusion 360. What it is and how it will be of use to us. So if you hop on over to Autodesk's uh, Fusion 360 website, you can, they actually have a pretty good page just dedicated to showing what this software is all about. Now, the big question everybody usually is wondering is why this software is even called Fusion in the first place. Now, the reason it's called Fusion is because this software is actually a fusion of a bunch of different softwares that you would normally have to download individually. But Fusion combines all of these into a single robust program. So what can we actually do with this software? So if we hop on over down here, we can actually get an idea of all of the different facets of Fusion. So, like most CAD softwares, there is your 3D design and modeling, which allows you to actually create each one of these parts that may make up, let's say, this motorcycle. And you can see each part in here, you can create parts, create assemblies, join everything together. That's very normal for a CAD software. Now, the next part of Fusion is having the ability to work on electronics. Now, in the previous tutorial series we did, we were working in Autodesk Eagle. Now, what's really nice about Autodesk Eagle and Fusion 360 is they're both made by Autodesk. And Autodesk has done a fantastic job combining the two softwares together and integrating them really well. So we can actually hop on over between Eagle and Fusion and actually port designs over from little schematics and board layouts to actually having these little CAD layouts of the boards that we create. And that's super useful whenever we're going to actually integrate our electronics into a 3D model. The next thing is simulation. Now, creating, creating CAD parts is one thing, but to actually be able to test these parts is what will actually make the difference between if your parts will actually work or not. Now you could, you know, 3D print your parts or go ahead and just jump straight to the manufacturing after you've already done your design and try testing it yourself. But Fusion actually has a lot of simulation software so it'll allow you to run different tests of parameters on your actual parts. So this, uh, what we're looking at right here is actually a finite element analysis that shows us uh, what this part's little stress concentrators will look like when applying a load to it. So it's different things like this that Fusion has that allows us to simulate different things on the actual part without actually making them ourselves. So Fusion is also, well Autodesk is actually working on a lot of what's known as generative design. Generative design is this new type of technology um, in which you actually have, instead of you making the parts, you actually have the computer come up with what the model will look like. So what Fusion has inside of it is this generative design software that allows you to just specify, okay, I need a connection from here to maybe this front section here. And, you know, these are the parameters. It has to survive this load. It can, it, it shouldn't deform. And given all of the dis these different parameters, you can see in the background, you can see all of these different uh, variations that the computer went through and finally came up with this, this uh, optimized model here, which you know may optimize for you know volume or or weight, you know, really whatever design specifications you want, this generative design software can actually meet whatever your performance requirements are. Now, is it helpful for rapid prototyping? Maybe not, but it is a super cool tool that uh, not many softwares will actually get you use, uh, get you direct um, utilization for. So, highly recommend giving it a shot. Um, there's a lot of documentation that we can create from Fusion. So, for most CAD softwares, when we talk about documentation, we do mean these little 2D CAD, um, these little 2D CAD models that shows us, you know, dimensions of the part and these can ultimately be used to you know show to other people what your parts look like or for our case we can actually use these to um, create uh, laser cutting and a uh, lot of different uh, documentation that will help us with manufacturing later on now 
what really, really separates Fusion from any other CAD software out there is the level of co uh, collaboration and uh, version control that this that Fusion brings to the market. And we'll get into more about this, but uh, we'll just hop over to this last tab here, manufacturing. So normally, manufacturing is generally left as a separate software that you'd have to download and independently use. But what Fusion actually allows us to do is to directly be able to create um, these different G codes to, you know, whether that be, you know, 3D printing or um, subtractive manufacturing to, you know, create different parts like this. Um, you know, Fusion offers a huge versatile, you know, CAM software. So we talk a lot about CAD, this computer aid design, but then there's that computer aid manufacturing side that uh, you may not have too much exposure in, but that's something that we'll be covering in this series. Now, if I go back, one, or not, okay, we'll go down. Um, we'll actually hop over to Fusion real quick, and I want to actually show you what uh, Fusion looks like and what the environment of Fusion brings. Now, if I hop over to, so you can see all over on to our left side, these are actually all of the projects that we have access to in Fusion. So as you start a new project, you know, maybe you're working on, you know, a robot car, or maybe you're working on, you know, a rocket, you know, you may have a different project associated with it. And Fusion allows you to separate uh, your designs into specific project folders. Now, uh, each project folder will contain all of your all of your different parts in it. So you can see all of your CAD models are stored in here. And probably the best thing about Fusion is that all of this, all of this CAD, you know, all of these projects, all of these folders, all of the actual part files in it are all stored on Autodesk's cloud system. So you don't actually need to store anything to your hard drive. None of this is stored to your hard drive. And what's really nice about that is you can directly give people access to these project folders. So say that you're working on a project and you know you want to give access to other people for all of your project files. It's very simple. You can simply just go over to this people tab and then give them access to your Autodesk emails. And all of these people will have direct access to seeing that project in this directory here, okay? So there is that level of co uh, collaboration that you can have on projects. So, you know, if you're having a lot of people working on a single project, this is really perfect for that. Um, you're probably very familiar with version control, maybe in, in GitHub or in other um, CAD version control softwares like uh, GrabCAD, in which they will allow you to um, save different versions of the parts as you work on them. And Fusion actually has that integrated into, into uh, its software. So you can see that associated with each part is, if I click on this right here, you can see all of the different um, versions that this part went through before it actually got to its final stage, which is now version seven. So if you ever needed to revert back to a previous model or you're not happy with, you know, some change that you made, the ability to look at the past history of a part is directly available to you. And having that directly integrated in the software makes it super easy and simple for us to directly modify our parts when need be. Okay. So that's pretty much a good description of what Fusion 360 is capable of doing and, you know, what the level of collaboration it offers as well as the different version controls that it has built into it. So that's the reason that Fusion 360 is going to be a really helpful tool for us in doing a lot of our rapid prototyping. Okay, so that pretty much ends this part of the tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.